Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Chu. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonah Fogasse. Both of us are sports psychology professors at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay, and we are also certified mental performance consultants. Sport and performance psychology, based on the definition from the American Psychological Association, it means applying psychological principles to enhance performance and reach highest potential. For example, in sport, athletes can use sport and performance psychology skills to have better focus, concentration, and confidence in order to win as many matches as they can and get to the highest career level that they can get. We know that physical skills are very important for example, in basketball, shooting free throw would be important, running fast, jumping high, but psychological skills are very important at the highest level. A lot of athletes know that, but not many of them practice it. That's why we have professionals in sport and performance psychology to work with them. Beyond sport, sport and performance psychology also apply to other domains, including music, military, even in school, those are the psychological skills that we can apply to. I just want to leave you with one quote from Yogi Berra. Baseball is 90% mental and the other half is physical. Exercise psychology focuses on the psychological aspects of health-related exercise. So here the focus is not on improving performance, but on trying to get people to create and maintain healthy habits especially exercise. Here then we're working with regular people, we're not focusing necessarily on athletes, but how to get those habits going on for people who exercise daily. Another focus of exercise psychology is to prevent and even treat mental health disorders. Here we look into how exercise can help anxiety and depression and other diseases and illnesses. Work opportunities in exercise psychology are found in places where there are interventions to improve those exercise behaviors such as health insurance company where they try to help prevent illnesses and diseases by using behavioral coaches for example. 